states, along with Article One, Section 21 of the Pennsylvania Constitution, the right to keep and bear arms. I ask counsel now, after hearing President Malloy reading that, that you uh, adopt this resolution. I support it 100%, and I ask for your vote on this to support this resolution. I'd like to make a motion. I'll second it. Motion by Bob, seconded by Lloyd. Roll call vote. Bob? Yes. Lloyd? Yes. Sue? Yes. Eric? Yes. Myself? Yes. Stand approved. Congratulations. Mr. President, uh, if I could be so humble to ask, this is Attorney Joshua Prince, he's a Second Amendment attorney. Uh, if you could say a few, a few words to the council. Sure. I'd just like to thank this honorable council for taking the action that you just did. As you know, our Second Amendment rights are under attack currently. Even so frequently as the Harrisburg Outdoor and our Sports and Outdoors show uh, was recently canceled because of the fact that they had made a decision to ban all or most forms of tactical rifles. The industry spoke, the vendors pulled out, and as a result, today the show was canceled. We need to stay steadfast in protection of the Second Amendment. Our congressional leaders seem to forget that they are bound by the Constitution and take an oath to uphold it. Today, or tonight, you guys have spoken, and I'm sure it'll reach the Congress in total, not just the State Congress, but also the Federal Congress. And I believe that tonight will be the pivotal point where other local municipalities, states, and hopefully the Federal Government will acknowledge the fact that we need to stop this. And I thank you for making that determination and showing that conviction. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Council President, if, I'm, if I may, I'd like to address you just briefly. And I, I, I want to also uh, award uh, uh, Chief Kessler with a, uh, something from the Oathkeeper Group. I'm a, I'm a member of Oathkeepers of Pennsylvania, uh, but I represent uh, uh, hundreds of oath keepers across Pennsylvania, thousands across of this country. But I also, I'm a veteran, just like a lot of people here are veterans, and, uh, and I'm representing them too, as, as well as our civilian patriots. But everybody that has taken an oath to the Constitution, and, and, and all the men and women, and people that died in wars, Normandy Beach, Guadalcanal, the jungles of Vietnam, the, the hills of Korea, where they laid their blood for that flag, for our Constitution. And I'm so glad that this Chief Kessler stepped forward to put this resolution forward and to say, you know what, the damn Bill of Rights has been trampled on enough in this country. It's time to draw a line. And I thank him for his courage. And I thank this board for your courage, too. And, uh, and I just want to say on behalf of all the Oath Keepers, I want to present you an official Oath Keeper shirt. Because you are truly an oath keeper. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. My, honor. my honor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And also, I would like to extend the courtesy if this board ever has any issues with firearms law or with ordinances or anything, please feel free to contact me. We'll be happy to assist your solicitor or however you deem appropriate. And also, Firearms Industry Consulting Group would like to pay for each of these board members to get an Oath Keeper shirt. And oh, okay. No credentials. problem. Thank you. Yeah, no. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much, Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to just say one more word, please. You know, since Chief Kessler come, come, came forward nearly a month ago and put this resolution forward, it's had a snowball effect across the country. You see, you see uh, over 60 county sheriffs that have come forward to say, we will not, we will not uh, uh, enforce a, an unconstitutional, unlawful law to, to take the uh, Second Amendment, to take a person's right to keep and bear arms. And now uh, Wyoming, Texas, Missouri, Oklahoma, Daryl Metcalf in our own Commonwealth yesterday morning on the steps of Harrisburg. I was there. He put forward House Bill 357 so that our Second Amendment rights will be protected from any any uh, usurper who would try to, to, to take them from us. So 
Uh, I just thank I thank the chief for what he's done. I thank for everybody coming. I really feel it's about you. It's not about me. I'd like to say um, I'm state constable in uh, Sunbury up in Northumberland County and uh, your chief of police is an inspiration he's a hero and what he the legislation he's proposed is going to be passed in cities across the country I'm going to enact it as policy of my office and I'm going to go to my city council and I know that thousands of other people are going to do the exact same thing and I thank each and every one of you for unanimously supporting the Second Amendment and upholding the Bill of Rights. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, I'd like to also uh, let you all know, we actually drove all the way from Avis this morning to come down here to see this historic. Uh, what, what you've done is very historic and it's taken its name. Uh, it shows, you know, people do care. And we're, we're supporting you. We felt it important enough to drive all the way down here to see you all. And it's made us proud up that way. And we're, we're definitely going to be spreading the word up there, too. And I've gotten a copy of that. And we're going to be going to local sheriffs and boroughs. So what you all did here today, um, it's a seed. It's going to grow. So I want to thank you all for doing that. And it's... We care person. about our people here in Dilberton Borough. Yes. Yes. Gilberton Borough is the, is the new Lexington, the shot that was heard around the world. You guys did it tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Sorry, we didn't have a little more room for you, but <laughs> you're not used to this big of a crowd. <laughs> That might be changing yeah. <laughs> as more people will be looking to Gilberton, yeah. seeing what action Gilberton is taking in pr protecting constitutional rights. Fantastic. Anybody else like to speak on this matter? God bless Gilbert. I talked to you on the phone this yep. afternoon. How are you doing, sir? Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Day. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Okay. Hey. Once again, I'd like to thank all you people who have been down. We really appreciate <coughs> your backing us. And it's very important. Supporting that we love. You guys came a long way in the 90s, and we really appreciate it. Tell me, sir, when was the last time you had so many people at your meeting? <laughs> <laughs> Quite a while. <laughs> Quite a while. It was an honor to be here. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you all for going with you. Yeah. It was our honor to have all you come and support this Constitution and the Second Amendment. It really, really is our honor to have so many patriots like yourselves come out and uh, speak up and stand your ground. It really is truly an honor. Truly an honor to have you all here today. Great. And let freedom ring, right? Yeah, yeah. hold on. Yeah, speaking of Mark, I, uh, I we do appreciate all of you that did show up in support of our little borough. I mean, that's, that shows commitment. Yeah. Shows people are listening also. Pardon? Shows that people are listening. Yeah. Is that the leadership role? Check, check your hands. Yeah. Huh? yeah. <laughs>
Thank you. 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 Thank